Hello, Leslie Nichols here with Vita Wellness Massage. After my last video, there were a couple of questions I had, and one was a question about the appropriate amount to tip a massage therapist. And a short answer to that is between 18 to 25 percent. The longer answer to that is uh, depends if you're going to a spa, a chiropractic office, is somebody coming to your home. <clears throat> when I go to homes, I typically include gratuity in my pricing. So if someone is going to come to your home, you might want to ask them uh, if they do the same thing. Uh, however, I definitely have clients that still choose to give me on tip on top of what I charge, and that's, of course, happily appreciated. When I worked at a chiropractic office, it wasn't unusual for people to tip less than 18%, uh, especially if they're coming to see me every week or if uh, they're coming to see me twice a month. I don't think that that same rule applies. However, at the chiropractic office I was at, people also gave us gifts during the holiday time or uh, brought baked goods into the office and that was always really appreciated. So a tip doesn't always have to be a monetary gesture. Uh, it can also be a craft, baked goods, things like that and that's always really well, re well received. Uh, keep in mind that most massage therapists got into this field to help people, to make a difference. And when we see people that uh, are in so much pain, get out of pain after three or four massages, no longer need surgery, that is one of the most gratifying things in the world. So don't get hung up on what you should tip or not. Really what you need to do is make sure that you're getting a massage, find somebody that you like. That leads me to the second question that someone asked, which is, um, how do I find a good massage therapist? Uh, obviously, ask around. There's um, uh, AMTA for, what does that stand for? American Massage Therapist Association. And uh, there's a few different insurance companies. Uh, that is my insurance company. So you can go to their website and fill out where you live, the area that you live in. And then they'll let you know who's in your area, what services they do, uh, how many years they've been a massage therapist. I've always found quality massage therapists uh, at individual uh, studios or boutiques, not at chains, although there are good massage therapists at chain establishments. Uh, typically, massage therapists seem to be a little bit happier when they're at uh, chiropractic offices or if they have their own studio or if they go to homes. And uh, those are just a couple ways to find someone. Also, Yelp. Yelp has been pretty wonderful and tends to give a pretty good overview. Uh, just remember not all massage therapists are created equal so do a little bit of research and uh, the best part about finding uh, a couple of massage therapists to turn to is going out and getting massaged by a bunch of different people. <laughs>